I love being a sex worker, but unfortunately, I have to face the facts and realities of life. We're not talking about human beings dying literally, but jobs, uh, economy, or everything all is dying off. I mean, Geylang is like a forgotten country within a country. Let me be realistic. Everything is dying now. Geylang was already like dying gradually, probably before COVID. There's a shift in trend. Dating apps, escort websites, BDSM app. Online, you can be discreet. Not every man would like to be seen on the street looking or buying sexual services, right? Some are married men. They don't want to be seen by office colleagues or friends, you know, because Geylang is also a place whereby people go and eat, right? I've been staying here for three years or so. Yeah. If Geylang, there's no more photo, I believe that Singapore will have a lot of crime. Uh, because in Singapore, it's very stressful. For some guys, there's no place for them to release. Then easily, they can see a woman near the pub or wherever. Then maybe the, the one guy who is drunk, there will be crime. Uh. I would be worried if uh, sex work were to move into a neighborhood area or heartlands area. There will be an additional stigma towards sex workers because heartland, as we all call heartland, you see, is where we all would feel comfortable, we all would be in, in a family setting. So to have a woman dressed skimpily calling out to men who pass by their shops, this would probably impact on how families or even any individuals would look upon sex workers. It's better that it's all located or centralised in one area rather than having all these sex workers scattered underground or online, there would be a better monitoring of them, a better regulation can be imposed. And also for me as a sex worker, for the community, it's where we all can come together, spend time together, and then also at the same time uh, doing work. I gave up because I was also struggling, trying to earn. So I made up my mind, I have to move on. I just work a uh, freelance uh, food delivery because uh, even on as a sex worker, I work on my own timing. I'm the boss, I'm the worker. It's a gloomy outlook now for sex jobs on the street. Until the economy will come back again, I, I, until then, I don't think we are going to be smiling or happy.